Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Behringer Wing Firmware 3.0 came out about two to three weeks ago. And so I was just gonna do a quick overview of some of the new things and some of the change things uh, that I wanted to highlight. Uh, this is not a 100% extensive deep dive into every single feature uh, that they came out with. I'm just gonna highlight a couple of the things that I consider uh, big uh, that are either new or changed in this firmware. So I have updated my desk here to firmware 3.0.4 currently. Um, I've got some videos, uh, a live update of uh, me actually doing that upgrade and what went wrong. Um, and then I've got some other videos explaining, uh, you know, some of those features as well. So you can check all that out. So this is kind of an overview video uh, for 3.0 of what's new and what's changed. So 3.0 came out. They have now pretty quickly released 3.0.2, 3.0.3, and 3.0.4. So I am uh, running 3.0.4 as of this recording on October 18th. That's the newest one that is out. Um, the dot releases, the dot two, dot three, and dot four, all three of those releases uh, were just bug fixes from 3.0. So there's nothing really to talk about there uh, outside of the fact that they just fixed things that were broken. So uh, in firmware 3.0, okay, so if you look here on my setup screen, I'm running 3.0.4, and I do have a Wing Dante expansion card uh, that I use as well. All right, so some of the new features that I wanna highlight, um, they have delay on buses now, uh, so you can delay the audio uh, on each bus individually. Um, you can do bus-to-bus -bus sends on all buses, okay? so. Um, for instance, if we go to a bus here and we go to the sends. Okay, so you used to only be able to send the audio from one bus to another bus. You only used to be able to do that on the first eight buses. So if you needed to send uh, audio to bus nine, uh, you couldn't do that from another bus. So now you can do bus to bus sending on all buses. Um, now you can do, this is probably my most favorite thing um, matrixes used to be uh, restricted. You couldn't use a matrix like a bus. You could not do sends on fader. You could not send all channels to a matrix like you can a bus. Well, now you can. So matrixes can now be used uh, like a bus. You can send all channels, including auxes, to a matrix, and they can effectively be used just like a bus. So now on the wing, you effectively have 24 buses uh, at your disposal. All right, and then uh, a few other features. Um, you can now send the talk back channel to a matrix, so you couldn't do that before. Um, they added some cool new custom control button features. Okay, so custom controls are things that you can add to your user buttons, all right, in the upper right-hand right -hand corner of the screen. I do have some other videos that kind of explain deep dives and how to program those buttons, so you can check those out. So the custom control buttons, a few highlights there. Um, you can now add a channel solo uh, to those buttons. So if you're constantly soloing, you know, channel one, but you're not always viewing channel one, you can throw that on a custom control button now, and it's always there. Um, you can also, they added to the fader sets. So this is kind of a cool feature. Um, you can put, um, you can do a, a negative infinity, you can do a unity, a zero, and then now they added uh, the fader set of negative 10. So if you assign this to a user button, what happens is if you hold that button, so let's say we're using the new feature of the negative 10, you hold the button that you assign that to, and then every channel that you select while you're holding that button jumps to negative 10. So you hold it, and you can select a bunch of channels all at once, boom, 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 and all the channels uh, go to negative 10. And they also have that option for zero unity or negative infinity 
essentially off, okay? So that's a pretty cool feature if you're, uh, you know, needing to move some channels pretty quick. Now a few things that have changed, okay? So those are all new things. A few things that have changed uh, that might, you know, trip you up if you're not used to it. Um, the talk back window, so I'll pull that up real quick. Uh, here the talk back window has changed pretty significantly and we'll dive into that in a minute. Um, the way that you patch the talk back has also changed. It is no longer in this talkback view window. You have to do that in the routing window. And then um, one little minor detail that I thought was cool is um, because of the bus to bus sending changes, uh, you could technically create a loop, right? You could send a bus to itself. So you could send bus one to bus one. Uh, so they have a warning now when you try to do that. So I'll show you that in a minute. So. That's the quick overview of some of the features, the new features, the change features that I wanted to highlight. I'm gonna do a quick dive into each one and illustrate them real quick. All right, so let's start with delay on buses. So if we go to my uh, bus layer here and we go to bus one, okay, I'm on the home screen. If you jump to the second tab here, you now have a delay setting here. So you can delay that bus audio by any um, you know meter or millisecond uh, duration. So that's a pretty cool new feature. You could do that on matrixes and mains before. All right, so that's that quick there. Uh, the bus to bus sends, okay? So still saying in my bus one window here, if we go to the last tab on your home screen, this is your bus to bus sends. So this is, right, so a bus, you can send any channel mixture, you know, any combination of channels into a bus. Well then, you used to be able to send buses one through eight, you used to be able to send the entire bus to another bus, okay? Well, you, but you're restricted to the first eight. So now you can send all 16 buses to another bus. So where this is primarily used in my world um, um, is for reverb, okay? So I use the first six buses I use for wireless in-ears for my band, okay? So uh, my vocalists have wireless in-ears. I'm using uh, buses one through six to mix all the channels and use it as a monitor send for their in-ears. Um, and then I'm also using another bus for my reverb, you know, for my vocal effects, okay? So before I was restricted in order to send those vocal effects, that reverb, to my vocalists in ears, they all had to exist within the first eight buses to be able to do that because I had to send, um, currently my bus six is my vocal reverb. So I had to send bus six back into bus one so that my vocalist could hear that reverb. Okay, so now I can send, if my vocal reverb is on bus 16, I can send that to bus one as well. So that's how that works. All right, the channel aux sends to matrix. This is super cool. You couldn't do this before. So if we go to matrix uh, view here, my matrix layer and select matrix one. Okay, I'm on the home screen. Um, what you used to get is you could send a bus to a matrix. So you could send an entire bus to a matrix. You could send a main to the matrix. And then you got the option to add two channels in. So that's it. So in addition to those things, I could pick two of my channels and I could direct insert into the matrix. So you still do get that option on the matrix. Um, it is right here on your second tab. You get a direct input. Now they have actually limited this to one, so you can only do one direct input now uh, per matrix, but that's because you can send all your channels into it. So now I can do matrix one. I can do my sends on fade or flip. Okay, so this you could not do before. And on my uh, scribble strip here, you can see that every channel, including my auxes, is available to send into that matrix just like a bus. So you can do the sends on fade or flip for all matrixes now, and you can mix that matrix uh, just like you could a bus. So this is a super cool feature. All right, talk back to matrix. So we're gonna hit view up in our talk back upper left window here hit view and we're gonna see our talkback settings. So this screen has changed significantly. Um, you now actually get all these buttons on the left. Um, you can actually activate your talkbacks uh, right on the screen. You can change some of your settings. You can activate the dimmer, the mute, 
the mono and the left right swap. You can do all that right here on the screen. Okay, and you get a bunch of other features here, um, but the one to note here is now you can assign to a matrix. So you can say this talkback goes to a bus. You could do that before. And now you can say this talkback also goes to a matrix. So you can assign that there. Uh, staying on the talkback for a minute, and these are changes, okay? You used to be able to uh, route you know, where your talkback came in. You used to be able to route that in this window, and that has gone away from this window. So now you're gonna do that in the Setup tab. So under Setup Audio, down here you get a talkback source, off channel 40 or aux 8. Okay, so those are your options. You have to plug your talkback mic into those places. And that is where you do your routing. So that has moved. And then um, anything else on the talkback window, um, you got your talkback A and B settings here. And again, uh, you can set those as push and latch. You know, you could do that before. So those are all the same there. So the custom control buttons that I mentioned real quick, um, in your user defined button section, we're gonna click view. And then I'm gonna click uh, you know, just a button that I want to assign. So for instance, I mentioned that fader at negative 10. So that's going to be under your other. And then if you scroll down, here's your fader options. You can do fader at negative unity, fader at negative 10, which is the new one, and fader at, or negative infinity, negative 10, and zero unity. Okay, so that's how you kind of set those up. And then you also get the channel solo that I mentioned up here, channel solo, and you can pick any channel. That may, turns that button into a dedicated solo button for that channel. Then the only other thing I'm gonna illustrate here is the bus warning. So I'm gonna go back to bus one, home screen. And if I go all the way down to my bottom tab here, this is where you send buses to other buses. You would activate on, off, and the fader level to that bus. So right now I'm on bus one, if I wanted to send uh, bus one to bus nine, for instance, I could not do this before. I'm gonna click on on bus nine and turn that up, okay? So now I'm sending bus one to bus nine. So the warning I was telling you about, I'm on bus one. If I were to say, you know what, I'm gonna turn bus one on and bus one, it's gonna create a loop. It actually gives you, I don't know if you can see it very well, a little warning symbol on the on button saying, hey, warning, um, you don't want to do this. It will still let you do it, but it'll create a loop very potentially. Okay, so that's how you illustrate that. So these are just some of the cool new features and updates, changes in firmware 3.0 that I wanted to highlight. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.